to YouTube once again, Vulture's Midnight here, and today's video I will be teaching you all how to create the PHD Flopper emblem. Now, among these 12 are the current emblems I have created. Electric Cherry and Vulture Raid have been recently created. I've not been able to make any of them for several months, and I do apologize for that. And all the information and what's been happening lately, I will let you guys know in an update video shortly. Anyways, for this video, I'm just going to keep it prompt to the PHD Flopper Emblem Tutorial. Now, like every other video, there will be a text document down in the description below for you to download. If you do not wish to watch the full video, it has all the information possible for me to recreate it. So please, either download that or watch this video. Now, we are going to create a new emblem, and we're going to start with a round square, which may be in the tool section near the top. Now, in terms of scale, it will be 47 by 47. Because sometimes when you uh, publish, sometimes the whole boundaries does not actually display. So sometimes I just want to have that in precaution. But some emblems which I've been seeing around lately doesn't do that precaution, and people have been taking shortcuts. Um, so... I want people to get the top quality shit. Now, for this colour, it's going to be a solid colour, but it's going to be 63 in the red. Actually, I'm going to start with a dark tone because I don't want to be scaling it too much. But anyways, it will be 63 in red, uh, 37 in green, and 107 in blue. Now, with this colour, what you want is a, pa uh, an icon called Juice. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, okay, here it is. It's in the Patterns category. And for this, you want the size 51. Just trying to go up slowly a little bit. Now with this, you want the layer toggle to be outlined, and for colour, I'm going to do the same thing again, make it dark grey so it's quicker to do everything. But what you want is 76 in the red, 45 in the green, and in blue you want 128. Opacity should stay at 100. And with the third layer, what you're going to do is we are going to copy and we're going to toggle it back to full. However, with color, we're going to change it a little bit. Red will be changed to 89, 53 in green, and 151 in blue. Gives us a little bit of a brighter tone. Now with this, we want I-Star as our fourth layer. Same again, I do not remember I-Star or its location. It has been a while. Anyways, it's in the Tools section near the bottom. We're going to have the size at 44 in both X and Y axis. Now with this, what we want is layer rotation at 21. It kind of goes in with the previous ones as well. Uh, I might rotate it a little bit more. Let's just say 22. Okay, I'm going to change the document. It looks better that way. 22 in lower rotation. Now with this, we want the color to be 102 in red. 60 in green. And 173 in blue. Just trying to get those gradients up there. Um, making this live because it's quicker on my time as well. And any mistakes I can fix it up and you can see which mistakes is, is there if there is any. Okay. I also want this layer 4 to be full. But when we toggle it over I want it to be outlined. 
I also want the color to be pure white. So it's on the bottom right of this color, but I want the opacity down all the way down to five. Now with this, just like any other emblem, I have paintball. Paintball will be resized to 15. And the opacity will be down to 50. The first layer will be no rotation, but I'm going to copy it twice over. Layer 7, the second one, will be at 114 layer rotation. Oh, I got it perfect first time there. The second one will be 277. We are going to have more ice stars in front. Now, with this ice star, we want the scale at 44. Now we want to change the color. 102 in the red color, 60 in green, 173 in blue. Oh, went too far there. I am reading a text document to make this, so anyone who thinks this is too slow and want to go faster, please, I do I do recommend the document. I'm making this from it, too. Now we're going to copy this over. And we're going to be doing the same as we did last time. With white. And we're going to lower the opacity down to 10. And it's going to be outlined, which was going to be changed in the document. It's also be double checking on the document whilst making this for all you guys that so you have on the document and video 100% perfect. Now, what we want after this is a circle outline. It's in tools and it's near the bottom. Now with this size, we want it at 40. And we are going to toggle it outline. And these are the two rings that we're going to have. The color will stay at white, but the opacity is going to be at 25. We're going to duplicate that over and have our layer uh, size at 42. So it looks like it has a few rings around it. And same again, but shorter to 41. Um, trying to get a balance in between everything there. So it has a kind of like gradient inwards as well. Now with this, we want fade. Uh, trying to find a pattern actually. Oh, I was on it all the whole time. My bad. Anyways, with layer rotation, we want it at 270, so it goes upwards. And these will be the bubbles on both sides. With the x-axis, we want it minus 116 by 17. So it touches the corner of both sides, and we're going to copy this onto the opposite side as well. Hundred and sixteen by seventeen. Now once I have this, I'm going to lower the opacities down to twenty five. Oh, that's fifty. 
Now what we want is to copy these again on both sides. Now with this, what we're going to do, do will be changing the opacity of the colour. So the first colour will be 20, whilst the second colour is no colour. And we're going to keep it white. But what we're going to do is we're going to press, I believe, the square button to make it outline. And we're going to be doing the same with this in terms of uh, the gradient and then outline. Now, once you have these 17 layers done, you'll be going to the round square. And we're going to large in this to 65 in width and 18 in height. Now, once we have this, we're going to be changing it to a gradient color. Now, we're going to have the layer, well, the gradient rotation to 90 because we want color to go from top to bottom, not side to side. Now with this, the second colour will be completely black. The other colour will be 127 in colour, like in the red. Green will be 0. And blue will be at 255 as it currently is. We're going to get this nice little gradient here. And we're going to be lowering this rotation to 50. After this, we will be making the actual logo itself. We're going to be needing a full circle for this. We're going to extend the scale up to 5. Now with this, we want colour to be to a gradient as well, but the second colour will be 160. Is this it? Yeah, it is from the middle here, it's one underneath. Now with this, gradient rotation will be at 38. And the gradient slider will be 95. Once you have this down, we'll be duplicating it again. And let me change it back to a default color and scale it to two, just so you guys can see where it is. And that will be the white outer ring for previous layer. Now with this, we are going to change it back to a gradient and we're gonna have the gradient rotation at 54. With the First colour, we're going to be having 89 red, 53 in green, and 151 blue. With the second colour, we want 77 red. I'm going to put that up to 100 opacity first, just so you guys can actually see. 39 in green. And 126 in blue. After this, we'll be duplicating it again, but making the scale minus 19. The color will be put back to a solid, and we're going to put this color to 208 red. Green will be at 173. And blue will be to 89. And we have this golden kind of colour. 
After this, we want to duplicate it again, but make this layer minus 23 in size. And we're going to enable back the gradient colors. I need to have a solid color first. The first color will be white. The second color will be 192. And it should be the third one down. Yeah. Third from bottom. Now with this we want gradient rotation at 52. Now we want to make the actual design in the center. So we're going to start with a round square. I'm going to put it as a temporary color for now. X, I want it minus 46. Y, I want it minus 74. Now in terms of position, I want it minus 9 Y. I will be making a pyramid to go to the bottom. And I'm going to be putting this pyramid 180 rotation, so it's upside down. I'm also going to put this as a temporary color. Shrink it a bit. Okay, so with this, I want the Y scale to be minus 87. And the X scale will be 44. And then after this, you're going to try and adjust it with the round square to look smooth as possible. There we go. Once I have this done, I will be changing the color to the same color as the kind of shade of purple. So it will be 89 by 53 by 151. This will go for both layers. I am going to be making duplicates of these. Uh, and I'm going to be changing both their colors white so we can actually see what we are going to be doing with the two. Let's start off with the layer 55 round square. They're both going to be pure white, bottom right corner. This one, we're going to be making the X minus 50 and Y will be minus 80. I like even numbers. Uh -huh. And we're going to keep the position the exact same. What we're going to be changing mostly will be the pyramid. The X will be minus 48 and the Y will be minus 91. And we're going to bump up the Y axis to 36. So we can join with the uh, round square above it. So we have this kind of border of purple. We're going to be doing the same again, and we're going to be duplicating these. And we're going to be changing the colors back to the purple color. The, hang on, I'm going to start uh, low there. It will be 89 in red, 53 in green, 151 in blue. And this will also go for the same color down there. You know, just... if only if you could start with a mid shade all the time, or copy a certain color, that that would be cool. Anyways, eighty nine, fifty three, and hundred and fifty one. Once I have changed the color, I will be changing the round square on layer twenty seven, and I'm going to change the X size to minus 58 by eight minus 88. I'm gonna lower down the Y axis on uh, position to minus seven. With the pyramid, I will be making it minus 57 by minus 100. 
I am going to move the Y axis to 33. So it looks like a clean border all the way around. Once we've have this, this done, we are going to start making the actual design in the center to represent the PHD flopper kind of nuke symbol. That's what it reminds me of. So we're going to be grabbing a full circle with minus 72 in scale. I'm going to have the Y axis at 2. So it's kind of centered to the actual design. Once I have this done, I am going to change the color to... Actually, wait, I got two of a similar kind of layers and I was going to to get color mixed up. You're going to keep that white and we're going to duplicate this. The first circle will be at... Minus... Okay, the first circle will be at minus 68, whilst the second one is at 72. There's a lot of circles in the document, so I'm, I got confused there. My apologies. The second layer, the one at 72, layer 30, will be coloured with that same purple colour as the rest. 89, 53, 151. Okay, once we got this done for layer 31, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to put it back to the color white. And we're going to shrink the size again to minus 77. Copy this again and bring it back to the purple color. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that and copy the already purple and just shrink this. <laughs> I'm lazy, okay? Now, after that, we're going to be using pyramids for layer 33. It's also going to use the same color. If only you could copy and paste only color. And as we're going to make it the same purple tone, I'm going to change this size to minus 119 in both X and Y. After this, we are going to move the Y axis to 22, which is downwards for your information. And that's to block off the bottom part of that outer ring. Now, the other two pyramids that we're going to be having will be having different rotations. So we're going to paste that twice. The first one will be 120. There we go. And the one after that will be 240. Okay, so the, with the layer of 120 rotation, I will be moving this minus 17 in X axis, which will be the left hand side, with minus 6. So we're going to have it on the upper side of this design. On the opposite end, we're going to be having positive 17 by minus 6. So you got that kind of nuke outer ring the easy way. After this, we are going to be making full circles. Um, to be precise, I am copying the circles we've previously used, and this color will be white. The size will be minus 94. After this, we want to be duplicating it again. Uh, 
Uh, I think I got an error in that. We're going to be making the size minus 173. And we're going to be changing the color back to the purple. And yes, I did have an error in positioning on the document. So I have fixed that for all of you guys. It was saying minus, not positive two in my positioning. Oh, I went over too much. Anyways, this will be the purple color we are constantly using. And if it's not imprinted into your head, I don't know which color it is. After this, for layer 38 onwards, we'll be using pyramids. And we're going to be making the nuke symbol. We will be putting the color to the same goddamn color. 89 red. Too much. 53 green. Same again, too much. I'm looking at the document trying to read this out for you guys and I'm going too fast. And 151 blue. After this, we'll be resizing this to minus 133. Now, with the first of the pyramids, we'll be having position minus 9. Hang on. Yep, yeah, we got rotation there as well. So we're going to put it minus 9. And we're going to rotate it to 180 degrees in rotation. We're going to be duplicating this. And we're going to change this rotation to 60. And before I go onwards, I will be charging up my controller as it just warned me my controller is dying out. And I don't want it to die out in the midst of this tutorial. Okay, proceeding on. This will be in the x-axis, minus 10 towards the left. And y will be positive 9. Trying to get both there, minus 10 and 9. Copy this over. Actually, I'm going to put that up a tiny bit. On layer 40, the pyramid will be 300 rotation. With positive 10 and 9 rotation. And there we go. We've got the nuke symbol there. There's going to be one more circle that we're going to have. Let me paste this and move it onwards. And it's going to be 211 in the negatives for scale. Minus 211. And that's how we create the nuke symbol. After this, we'll be wanting to create text. As if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I like to use... This kind of zero O kind of um, shape first to make 165 minus 165 in scale. And let me move it upwards here. Okay, so to begin with, I'm just going to paste this several times. The first letter will be F, and it's going to be 330 in rotation. And I'm going to move it minus 42 in X, and then minus 68 in Y. And after this, I will be having 340 rotation. And I'm going to be moving this minus 28 in X with minus 74 in Y. Sometimes if they don't go together, try and squeeze in for 
because there's decimals which you cannot see and I'm trying to get the exact shape as well. The third one will be 350 rotation because I like to go up in tens and this one will be minus 14 by minus 79 And then after the 0 by minus 80, I'm going to be putting this rotation to 10 by 14 by minus 79, which is the positive numbers from the other side. I'm going to be duplicating this again two more times. One will be on a 20 rotation. And this one will be positive 28 by minus 70 I'm going to bump this up a tiny bit minus 75s and I will change that in the document as well just so all of you have it Okay. Um, oh, whoops. Okay, so with the last letter for the top, 30 rotation. And it's going to be 42 by minus 68. Once we have this text here done, I'm going to make a copy and move that below for later. We are going to change this text. Just highlight over it and press triangle and you can change the text. And I will be making this as the design on some of them have flopper PhD rather than the opposite way round. Now, for this below, we are going to be making the PhD at the bottom. So, I will be getting to the original with zero rotation. And I'm trying to move myself in the center x-axis at 80y. I'm going to be co copying twice. One with 10 rotation and another one 350 rotation at either side. The first one will be minus 16 by 79. And the opposite one will be positive 16 by 79. And try and move the center one in the middle. And we're going to be changing this again to match PHD. Now some of you will stop here and I don't recommend it to. I have seen a few of them, a few people have made vi these emblems and I have not seen them do exactly as the emblem was. The last half will be shading and it does make it a look a lot better. For example, take this newly made emblem, compare to this. Think about the center PhD logo. It looks better. So please... Stick around and watch how we do the shading. What you want is the full circle. We're going to be making this size by 5. So to have the exact same as the previous one, either copy or overlay yourself over it. Now with this, I want the gradient rotation. So we're going to go in colour and we're going to go in gradients and we're on gradient rotation at 33. Now with this I want the first colour to be complete white and the second colour will be transparent which is on the left hand there. The first colour will be 
14 in opacity. I will be copying this and I'm going to paste it. But I'm going to change the color. Second color will be black and the first color will be transparent. Now this second color will have 40 opacity. And it has the same gradient rotation and everything. So it's just a perfect copy in changing for that. We're going to be having a circle outline to only affect the outer ring. Now with this, we're going to have the gradient rotation on black and white. So first color will be white. Second color will be black. The second color and the first color will both be on 20 opacity. Once you change the opacity, change the gradient rotation to 28. After that, we'll be moving to the quarter circle section. It was preferred in tools and we're going to have this minus 40 in size. Now we want this minus 48 by minus 48. Try and get to the top there. And we're going to change this opacity to 3. I'm going to be copying this and changing the color to black. But And for this purpose, I will be upping the opacity so you can see where the layer is. Now, the second uh, layer will be 180 rotation. And we're going to put it to the bottom right here. We'll be having... 50 by 51 in X and Y axis. So borderline those two numbers. Um, and for that, we'll be changing the, the, uh, the opacity to 6. We don't want it too dark. going to be copying this two times. We're going to up the opacity for the same purpose of being able to see. So for layer 58, we're going to be doing this one first. 267. And then on the other one, the rotation will be at 94. Okay, so whilst we're still editing 57, we're going to have 54 in X axis by minus 45. And we're going to try and join these two together. Okay, and I'm going to change the opacity down to 3. And then for this, we're going to be moving the position by minus 46 by 52 and also the same thing with 3 on the opacity now once we got this we're going to be using the last layer of a full circle we're going to be making the size minus 20 so we're also going to get a little bit of that gold in there And we're going to be changing this to a gradient. The gradient rotation will be 164. Now with a white color, we're going to be changing the opacity to 30. And that will end in the tutorial. There's the 
PHD flapper we have just created, and this is the original. Actually, the fade colours don't look right here. Ah, that's because they don't have the gradient. I think they lost the gradient, actually. And which layer is this? 14. Okay, I'm not sure if I made a mistake in the video or that just had an error because sometimes the gradients do mess up if both of the gradient 1 and gradient 2 are the exact same colour and it, sometimes it makes gradient colour to a basic colour after transparency and you change the first colour. I think that was just an issue. Anyways, that's the original uh, being shown here right now and then this is the created. It's not too hard, and to be brutally honest, it was the first emblem I've really made out for Perca Colas, because it's also one of my favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I would like you guys to have a little, let's say, discussion or opinion. As I have made these five tutorials already, and then I'm making PhD Flopper, the next one would be Deadshot, and it would be moving onwards. However, my opinions on Vulture Aid and Electric Cherry, they were quite difficult to create. Vulture Aid never left me enough emblems to make a good background, and Electric, Electric Cherry, just it was difficult to create that looks well. So, I tried my best, similar to Mule Kick, I tried my best. I would like to hear your thoughts about it. I'm still going to be making Pack-a-Punch, Widow's Wine, and in the current progression of The Wonder Fizz. And I want you guys' opinions, because I made these recently. Most likely they're not going to be changed, but I want to know your guys' opinions. Anyways, this is Vultures Midnight, and I hope to see you guys in another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this PhD, it was long awaited, and I do apologise sincerely for its inevitable delay. See you guys next time.